Welcome back to Inside Out and the stock in our spotlight segment is Sarigama, the oldest music label in the country, RP Sanjeev Goenka Group Company and earns its revenues via music licensing. It has a library of over 1.5 lakh songs in 18 languages and company has partnerships with over 65 music licensing platforms, 30 streaming platforms, 20 broadcasting platforms and over 8 social media platforms. Music licensing is basically lending license to others to use your music or song for a fee. For the music licensing industry, major revenue is derived from content released in last 18 to 24 months. And labels have to continuously invest in music. And Sari Gama has been making aggressive investments for acquiring new content and has 27% of its revenues coming in from the content released post-2020. Now let's understand the breakup of the revenues. It gets revenues from YouTube, where YouTube's ad revenues are shared in the 55 is to 45 proportion in favor of Sari Gama. Second is audio platforms, where they have agreements with audio OTT platforms like Spotify, GeoSav and Wink Music for a period of one to two years. Third is short format video platforms, which is a fixed fee license contract and renegotiations, if any, are done at the end of the deal. Now, video OTT platforms also use Sarigama owned content, where they use fixed fee license deals. And for brands, there is customized revenue source. And for public events, music played at events generates revenues for the label. One part of the revenue is also sales from hardware product Karva. You all would have heard about it. It is a product with preloaded songs and they have a mobile version in this as well. Company has sold around 5.61 lakh units in 2023 after seeing levels of around 4 lakh in FI22 and 3.44 lakhs earlier. But average realization has been coming down from 2634 in FI22 to 2314 in FI23 due to higher sales from low ticket item. In June 2022, company announced demerger of e-commerce distribution business. So adjusting for that, let's take a look at the financials. First half revenues at 335 crore rupees, which compares with 736 crores in FI23, around 580 crore rupees in FI22 and FI21 at 442 crores. Margins have been above the 33% mark, hitting 38% in FI22. In first half, it has come down to around 33%. Profits have improved from 113 crores to 185 crore rupees in FI23 and in the first half around 91 crore rupees. Company derives 75% of its total music licensing revenue from digital platforms. It has made some acquisitions as well. In September 2023, they acquired Pocket Aces Pictures Private Limited and paid 174 crore rupees for 51.82% stake. This acquisition is into direct-to-consumer content, artist management and OTT content. Company says the synergy should result in growth of around 27 to 28% in both companies. But there are risks to this as well. There is rising risk of new content acquisition, digital piracy has been a big issue for industry and the company as well. And that's why they stopped making investments in new content a while back, but they have of course restarted it now. There could be higher than expected investments in non-music segments as well. The valuations is at 27 times FI26 EPS, slightly higher than global peers. Promoters, they hold around 59% stake, mutual funds at 0.65%, there's AIFs holding 1.72% stake and FPIs hold around 16.29% stake. So that's all about Sarigama. But with that, we have run out of time on this episode of Inside Out. It's a goodbye from Nigel and I. But do write to us and tell us the companies you want us to discuss and you want to hear about. We'll feature these on our show. Thanks a lot for tuning in today.